Welcome once again to another video on C++. In this video, we're going to talk about arrays in C++ and discuss just a bunch of different things that you need to know when it comes to arrays. <laughs> okay, um, an array in C++ is a collection of elements of the same type stored in contiguous memory locations. It is a way to store a fixed size sequence of elements of the same type. That's the definition of an array. Basically, when we're trying to store uh, stuff, right, store the same data type stuff together, we can use an array to do so. That's basically what it's trying to say. To create an array in C++, you need to specify the type of the element and the size of the array. So let's go over some syntax for how to create an array. The syntax is gonna be like this. So we have to start with the type, as I said before, then we specify the name of the array, array name. And then we, inside of these uh, square brackets, we have this size. So basically that's, that's, the, um, that's the format. That's like the template that you can use to create an array. I think having a template is very useful because that you can use that template for like a lot of different uh, situations. Let's go over uh, an example where we create an array that basically an array of integers that basically has a total of five elements. What I mean by elements is basically the number of things in the array. Like if I have an array of apples and the size was five, then I'd have five apples, right? That's an example. Okay. So uh, basically, let me, in order to do that, let me actually go ahead and like set my code up because that's necessary. All right, all of that. Okay, so here inside of this, let me create my array. So int my array five. What did I, what did I do here? I specified the type, which is int, and then the array name, which happens to be my array. You can call it anything else. It depends on the situation uh, or, and on why you're creating the array. And then size, which happens to be five. So that basically is how you can create an array. It's super simple, not too complicated. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and talk about initializing the array. So for initialization, uh, you can also initialize the elements of the array at the time of creation. So basically in our first line, we have int my array five, right? And right now at the moment, we don't have our elements specified elements as in like, what are our thing, like different items of that array, right? So what we, what, how do we notate this in initialization? We have a curly braces. And in those curly braces, let's specify our elements. So since we have int we have, uh, before the my array five, our elements have to be an int. So for example, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and one thing to know is that each of these elements or uh, yeah, elements of this array are separated by commas, right? So our first element is one and then our next element is two, next element is three, four, five. So these commas specify that these are different elements of our array. So basically the following code is creating an array of integers with the size of five and initializes the elements with the val values one, two, three, four, five to sum it up. And after initialization, one other uh, thing we can do with the power of an array is to access the elements of an array using the index of the element. So the index of the first element is zero. And then the index of the second element, second element is one and so on. So the thing about programming is that uh, when we start, our index is gonna start at zero when we're looking at the first element. So our first element is gonna be index zero, our next element is gonna be index one and so on until we reach the end of our, uh, 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 the end of our array. So here's an example uh, right now we're gonna demonstrate is how we can access elements of an array. So let's print out first element and my array uh, and in how do we notate an index is we have square bracket my array, the name of the array, and then in square brackets, the number indicating the index, right? And recall that I said earlier, the first element uh, starts at index zero, our second element starts at uh, is uh, index one, and our third element is going to be index two. So this is basically going to print out each of our elements. So we should see uh, first element one, second element two, and third element three. And that's basically how uh, indexing works.
And now we can also use another example to pronounce uh, basically iterating over the elements of an array. So for that, we can use what we learned before, a for loop. For loop can iterate over an elements of an array as well. So let's remove our all of our print statements for C out. Yep, let's do that with a for loop now. So basically, we what we want to do is we want to go, instead of going through each and every element of the array, like starting with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, um, that would be like so that would be so hard, right? Imagine we have like an array with a hundred elements. <laughs> That's just so unreasonable to like have a hundred print statements, right? So what we can do is we can use a for loop and just simplify that process. So let me go ahead and delete all of this unnecessary right now. And then we can say for int i, and this is our this is our variable that we're going to be used to iterate through, right? Basically, it's going to be our index value, uh, represent our index value. And then i is less than, in this case, 5, since 5 is the length. And then we can go ahead and go i plus plus. And then basically, we can print out the element. So I'm just going to type it out, and then I'll explain what I typed up. So the element at index i is going to be, oops, sorry. Let me add that i here. OK, and then my array i. So basically, what this is going to do is going to go starting at the index value of 0, and then it's going to go on to the next index value, the next index value, the next index value, all the way until 4, which is happens to be the last uh, index value. Because as Arnesh explained earlier, the first element has an index of 0, second one has an index of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's exactly what we want. If we had started with 1 and went up until 5, this would not go through every single element. It would only go through these elements because we'd go one, two, three, uh, four. And if we ended up having, like, for example, zero and then less than or equal to, then we'd actually have an out of bounds since we'd go from zero, one, two, three, four, and then we have five because it's less than or equal to, and that would be out of bounds. So that wouldn't work. So we have to just do this, and this is how we can make it work. But we don't have to do this. There's, there's, you know, some ways where we can like alter this i here so we can go from like one to uh, six, for example, and then do i minus one, but and then here also i minus one, but then that's just so unnecessary. Why would you want to do that and complicate everything? So let's just make this zero and five. And then what this is going to do is basically it's going to go ahead and do the same thing we did before, but it's going to iterate through each and every element of this uh, array. So let's go ahead and see if it works or if we need to debug debug anything. So no, it, it looks like it works. The element at each index is printed out and we have our value that follows it. So we're running out of time. So let's just go ahead and quickly talk about the size of my array and how to figure out the size. Arnesh will do that. All right, so our last concept of arrays in this video is gonna be our size of operator. So basically size of operator allows us to determine the size of an array. And what I mean by size of an array is how many elements we have. So in this case, we have five elements. The size of uh, our array is going to be five, right? So uh, we're going to just simply print out the size of an array or using our C out uh, print statement. So C out size of my array, my array being the name of our array here, and colon, and then the stream uh, insertion operator size of. So size of, that's how it goes, size of my array. And make sure that size of is all lowercase. And case sensitivity matters. So in, we can't do like size uppercase O, F. We have to make sure that all of it is lowercase. So size of, and in parentheses, we specify the name of the array we want to find the size of. And in this case, we're basically printing out the size of my array. And let's run our, uh, let's run our program to see what happens. And it should print out five. Okay, so basically the size of operator returns the size of a type in bytes. So basically we, uh, an int, Type and we didn't cover this before. An int type is for four bytes, so basically we have five elements, right? But then an int, which we is our type of array, is four bytes. So the size of actually multiplies our bytes by elements. So an int is four bytes, and we have five elements. So it's multiplying the four bytes by five elements, 
in order to get ourselves 20 bytes. So what we actually need to do here is we have to do size of my array and divide that by size of int, which is four bytes. So uh, divide that by size of int. And int is basically four bytes, right? So it's going to divide 20 by four, which is the number of bytes in int as, in order to get ourselves the size of the array, which is five. So that is one confusion we came across here. But whenever you want to si find the size of an array, we have to make sure to do the size of the array divided by the size of an int, which is our data type here in this case. Thank so you. that concludes the size of operator. And that basically concludes uh, the, the arrays video. So we hope to see you next time in our C++ series. Bye. Thank you for watching.